What's up guys? Omar Esoff here, bringing the thunder, talking about an important topic, the perception on YouTube with regards to progress, the incorrect perception due to unnatty natties. I made similar videos before, but I have a unique take on it today. What I want to talk about are the false expectations placed upon YouTubers and upon individuals in terms of making progress because we're comparing natural trainees with unnatural trainees. And what will happen, a lot of these guys, a lot of YouTube, it's populated with a bunch of you, oh man, I'm natty, you gotta make sure you get eight meals a day, blah, 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 blah. And they're making substantial gains. And yet, someone that is natural, that is not using performance enhancing drugs, that is still making progress, albeit not as fast, right, gets called up, yo, bitch, do you even lift? You look like shit, you make me sick. Those are real comments, right? And people are being held under this false level of accountability. Why aren't you making gains? Why aren't your arms 18 inches? I've suffered from this myself several years ago, right? It's like, do you even look like you lift? Bah, 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 bah. And then over time, I started lifting more weight. My, uh, my physique uh, uh, made substantial progress, and then the comments kind of died down, especially uh, using a very important example. When I went down to train with Elliot, I had the perception that Elliot was like six foot one, you know, he talks to the camera, he's always close to the camera. Dude is big, right? He's gonna be massive. And then the very first video we made together, I was surprised, Elliot's actually five foot seven. And when we stood next to each other, it was flooded. The, the comment section was like, oh my god, Omar actually looks, he looks huge, he's so massive, what's well, he looks bigger than Elliot, right? All of these comments, because I don't put any effort into trying to look big, getting the right optimal angles, getting a pump going on before training. What, what is this? A fucking beauty patch? I'm here to give advice and information of utility. So immediately when I stood next, that was the first time me standing next to another YouTuber, people were able to compare me to another physique. And immediately went from like, do you even fucking lift to he clearly fucking lifts. Now. Does that say anything about Elliot or what he says in his videos? Not at all. Or the amount that he could deadlift? Nothing. What it does say is the incorrect perception that people have with regards to individuals. Because if you have no one to compare to, you're just seeing someone, you know, posting a video or maybe you have a far away shot of them bench pressing you and they think, oh man, his arms look so fucking small. Yeah, they're like close to 17 inches, right? It's an incorrect perception. The number one uh, statement I'll get by fans when they meet me. Oh my god, Omar, you're way big, more muscular than I would have thought. Oh, you're not actually five foot five, you're like five foot ten. Holy shit, who would have thought that, right? Same idea when I went down to Texas. This incorrect perception, and a lot of times I want to shift it. For me, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. I'm here to provide information. I built up a solid base of 180,000 subscribers, and I couldn't also really give a shit about, I think it's un, I think it's wrong and incorrect for unnatty natties to keep claiming to be natural to give false expectations to younger youtubers or, or to younger individuals by and large but to me it doesn't matter i'm already past that point right with the level of audience with what i'm doing with what my goals are but what pisses me off and what made me make this video today Two individuals I want to show. The first is my boy Johnny Candido, one of the hottest working, hard gigging, honest individuals out there on YouTube. He and I were actually talking on Skype. Stay tuned for some cool video announcements. But uh, we're talking about the videos recently. He went down to the Arnold, dude, just about damn near snap, you know, smashed the 550 squat, nearly a 600 pound tail. He is one of the strongest junior powerlifters in his weight class in America. He is a phenom, right? And yet, what are the comments on when he's standing next to other individuals? Oh my God! Look how short! Look how short Johnny! Look how he looks like a little child. Does he? Does this? And people that don't know him, when they just posted a video of him like standing next to someone else as a bodybuilder, does this faggot even lift? Does this bitch even lift? Da -da. All these hateful, negative comments. You don't even know this person. Johnny is a really sincere, nice guy. And once again, it's because he's not wearing extra size small boy shirts, right, again, that optimal lighting angle to try and make himself look bigger, that people automatically hound on him. And yeah, he's five foot seven. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? He, it's not like he's Matt Ogus size small. You know, it's not like he's five five. He's a solid five seven. I call that old world tall. But it's really weird how if you go outside of your subscribers, so Johnny has his subscribers and they're real loyal, they post positive comments, but when he's in someone else's video, like a bodybuilding channel's video, and he's standing next to other individuals, he gets all sorts of, hey, why? Because he's natural? What? Because he squats a lot? Because of his height? You see, it's a really weird, once again, are we in a fucking beauty pageant? What is it? Best 
Best dude wearing board shorts wins the physique competition. This is YouTube. It's about lifting. There's a diversity of topics out there. It's not just all about being an unnatty natty. The other person I want to talk about, and so I thought that was really unfair with regards to people commenting on Johnny Candido. Keep in mind, if you saw him in person, you think he's way more muscular than seeing on camera. I can't state that enough. Another person is Ian McCarthy, right? Yeah, I know. He got he got chewed out, right, because of his approach with the hot shorts. I know, right, how he handled it might not have been the best, but some of the information he said was absolutely correct. But look at his progress over time. Like, what if you, yo, does this pasty, once again, blah, 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 even lift. It looks like he's not making any games. He's actually making solid progress. He's one of the few natural people on YouTube, right? Him, Candido, if you think that he's making shit progress, the truth is, he's making the normal level of progress. Everything else is skewed on YouTube. And the last thing I want to say, he's making solid progress, is I was a 19-year-old YOLO at one point. So I understand, guys, a lot of people watching are probably a little younger. And what you got to keep in mind is how you think you look is usually really different than how you actually look. Here's what I mean, when I was 19, I thought I was huge. When I was 220 pounds, fuck man, my arms, these. I can't wait till I get 19 inch arms, right? They're like 16 and a half, 16 and three quarter inches. I thought I was 10% body fat, I was fucking 25% body fat. So you have a lot of these keyboard warriors who was like, oh man, you know, you look like shit. It's like, yeah, okay, let's, let's all calm down and be chill. Let's check our ego at the door. Sometimes we don't look as good as we think we look, and sometimes when you're viewing someone else, you're a little bit more hateful than you should be, a little more critical of the physique. Once again, if you see it in real life, in comparison to someone else. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, guys. The disparity is only, you know, now there's some people, once again, like Candido and a few others putting out really solid advice, natural guys uh, that are shifting the perception, but there is still that disparity. There's a lot of unnatty natties. Don't get fooled and don't give up and don't get, you know, disappointed with yourself if your progress is not as fast as some of these dudes. Oh, I gained 30 pounds of muscles in a year. I'm like, okay then, right? Don't be, don't be, don't be alarmed, right? It's normal. It is completely normal. And with time, do this for yourself, and you will see you'll be way more satisfied with the progress. Quick video, what I want to make, what I want to talk about, the skewed perception of progress and image on YouTube. It can't be stated enough because there are too many people on the opposite side, and this side is not being represented well. So thank you guys for watching, it ain't no bikini show here, right? My rascals, if you like the video, make sure to like the video and I'll be seeing all you guys, rascals, in that next video. Peace.